Schindler and Shine, Genie Divine, Zeta and Layla and Shimmer and Shine. Zeta! Hey guys, today we're looking at Zeta and Layla. They are the latest characters in the Shimmer and Shine series by Fisher Price. I am a fan of these. As you can see, I got all original characters. I didn't get any of the different outfitted ones, but I did get, I believe, the first signature look of each character out of these. Still waiting on a Zack. Where is Zack? We need a Zack. Please make a Zack. Shimmer. Is this Shimmer? Uh-oh. And this is Shine? Hope I got those not mixed up. I forgot her name already. I knew I should have got that book. The two pets? Princess Shim... Sh princess... Some princess? This mermaid. Beautiful. Leah. Her name's Leah, I hope. I know you'll correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, today we're going to be opening up Layla, who looks great, and Zeta, who looks awesome too. Now, the last figures that, oh, well, I don't know, I think the mermaid was the last one, but Princess Samira, Shamira, Princess something, Sa Samir something, she had full real hair. So I thought that was really cool, but it looks like they went back to just the ponytail, which we can deal with, this is acceptable. Here's what they look like in the box. You can see that there's a comb in there. There are some bedtime versions that are available now. I did see those in the store. There's the bedtime versions. You can tell by her pigtails. That's Leah and Princess Samir, Shamir. The princess. I don't know, is there anything else you need to see? They look awesome, they're great colors. They're really cute. How about I just crack them open? I'm really bad at remembering names. So many girls to remember all of their names. I was pretty sure I had a pair of scissors around here. Uh oh, I see a lot of glitter. I'm not a fan of glitter. I sparkle enough as it is. It doesn't say anything about their characters on the package, unfortunately. First of all, I think it must be mentioned that their heads are a bit smaller. Now, I think the reason that they did this was to give them the appearance that they were slimmer and taller, because they are much taller in the cartoon, this I know. And the thing was the same for this princess, too, but she's got a big round head, just like Shimmer and Shine. Her head actually is bigger. But these ladies have smaller heads, thinner heads. So that makes them end up even smaller in comparison. But hey, it doesn't matter because they still look great. So Zeta. Zeta looks like this. She's really cute. I do like what they did with her hair. It's special. Her bangs go extra high at the front. It's a very bright purple color. And she's got this collar piece that comes off. And she's got this belt piece that looks like it's upside down. I'm going to try it the other way and see how that looks. I don't know. It kind of looks better like that to me. But maybe that's not the right way. And then she's got this skirt. So if we take everything off, she's got a lot of painted body going on. Full leotards and long t-shirt. But it does look like the same body that all the other characters had. You can mix and match the clothes, so that's very nice. Here are her shoes. I really like those. And her skirt is super shiny. Look at that. It sparkles. And that just pulls on like that. And there's a little lip that they have there. And I'm not sure if it goes under the lip or above the lip. And she's got this belt that is super cool. This is her collar piece. Her ponytail holder matches her shoes. And she comes with this green comb you can comb her hair with. Maybe she's a bad guy. You know what? I think Zeta might be a mean girl because she's got this demon-y looking comb. Now, Layla looks very angelic. She has a comb that has a snowflake on it 
and she does look very icy, but yet still very kind. So I think that she's probably a good character. Look how her crown is buried in her hair. It's cool. And I do like the white and the light blue. Very frosty. You know, her skirt is full. It's printed on one side. It goes down all the way in the front. Usually these genies have a more of an opening thing in the front. And her top is interesting because underneath this chest piece that she has, it has all of these patterns painted on it. So very luxurious. And then she's got these cuffs, which don't go around all the way. They don't look the best from the back, but you can take them off. They look kind of icy themselves. The part that scare me the most are her shoes, which you can see they're a translucent shoe, and then they sparkleized all of the tops of them. You can see how some of that glitter has gotten on her ankle. Now it's going to get all over me, which I don't like. But I believe it is the same style shoe as most of the other girls just painted in a different color. So she also has a full leotard on with sleeves and legs all the way. She has more detail on her face with the sparkles and the patterns under her eyebrows. Very pretty. And she has less, but she's got some marks on the sides of her eye. Very nice. I do think she might be an evil character. The hair is very soft, very soft. And I like that you can swing it around like that. Yeah, they're pretty girls. Let me show you the combs again. This one is double-sided. And this one, you can see the back of the dragon's head. All right, are you a Shimmer and Shine fan? If you weren't before, I hope I've convinced you. They're cute, they have big heads. Who doesn't like wishes? Shimmer and Shine don't really have their genie granting techniques down very well, but they're working on it. We need a Zack. Let's get a Zack. Let me know which one of these new Shimmer and Shine dolls you prefer the most. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. There's an animal outside my window. Shimmer and shine, genie divine. Shimmer and shimmer and shimmer and shine. <laughs>